Two men are dead and one woman is in serious condition at hospital following an early morning shooting in the Scarborough area in the Morningside and Shepherd area. Now, it's tough to imagine, but up until just a few moments ago, this was an active crime scene and most of this block was entirely boarded off from media or even pedestrians and vehicle traffic coming through. Police have just removed the police tape and they are now continuing with their very active investigation. They're looking for a suspect or a suspects. Trouble is, they're not quite sure who they're looking for just yet. Um, they said that the gunman ran this way, I think. Aria Basher was texting friends in her bedroom around 1 a.m. when gunfire sounded off just a few houses down. I heard two gunshots and then the DJ was like, hold on, hold on. He turned off the music and all I hear was screaming and crying and, and swearing and stuff. And I thought, I still thought, like, maybe it's fireworks, maybe someone got hurt or something. Um, and then I looked outside my window, and there was, like, so many police and SWAT, co SWAT cops um, coming with dogs and stuff in our backyard, and they put up the yellow tape. The two males who are suffering from gunshot wounds, and despite that medical intervention from EMS, those males were pronounced deceased at the scene. I can tell you that a female who was um, a host of the party uh, also suffered a, uh, a gunshot wound and she was transported to a local trauma center where she was suffering from life-threatening injuries. She has since been upgraded uh, to um, serious but stable condition. The two deceased are 33-year-old Ronaldo Cole and 30-year-old Dwayne Campbell, both of Toronto. Both are known to police, although they won't say in what capacity. Now, we spoke with one of the owners of the home, and she confirmed that her daughter is the third victim and remains in hospital. She didn't know the deceased, but police say they were invited to the party. She also didn't know how or why the shooting began. Police say they are still trying to gather those facts, too. While there were numerous people uh, who were here at the party, um, estimates are around 200. I can tell you that we've had very little cooperation from people. We have interviewed uh, a small amount of those uh, individuals who were here. And what I'm requesting at this time is anyone who has not been spoken to, who was at the party, to contact us. We'd like to, uh, to come forward to assist us in this investigation. Now, police are asking anybody who may have been at the party or anybody who lives in the neighborhood and has surveillance video to reach out to them at 42 Division, or they can remain anonymous and call Crime Stoppers.